Konnichiwa minasan and welcome back to my channel. I'm Raina Scully coming to you from Japan and sorry I have to be a little bit quiet because it's pretty late at night and my baby's already asleep. But before we get into the vlog, I just wanted to start this video off by thanking you for all of your kindness and support on my previous video. A lot of you have commented that you are also dealing with something similar or have in the past and it is so heartbreaking. I am so sorry for everything that you've been through and I understand. Um, I said this in my previous video, but I lost my dad to lymphoma, which left my mom widowed. I lost my grandfather to lung cancer, and my husband Mike even had skin cancer last year when I was pregnant with my daughter Irie. So when I say I understand, uh, I, I really do, at least from a the caregiver's perspective, and I just want you to know that you're not alone. I am thinking of you and wishing you well, just like you have all done for me. None of this is fair, and um, if that makes you angry, that's okay too. I'm there with you on that. It's not fair, and it's not easy, and it's, it's really heavy, but we will all get through this together eventually. And next, there are also so many of you that have sent me super thanks via YouTube, which was completely unexpected. That was so incredibly kind of you. Thank you so, so much. And I hope you believe me when I say I, I wasn't even thinking about that at all. I wasn't ever going to ask for donations or monetary help or anything like that. I'm actually really bad at that, which is why um, I was never able to make the switch over to Twitch or have a Patreon running. Giving me your time and watching my videos and following me and interacting with me is and has always been more than enough. I really cannot ask you for more than that. And yeah, I'm sorry I'm rambling. I'm a little bit weird about money and receiving money like that. But yeah, all that to say, truly, thank you so, so much. You have already done too much for me. And lastly, about the Otani updates, like literally 12 hours after I posted my video, he went on the IL, and then just today I saw on his Instagram that he got his Tommy John surgery. So there is absolutely no way to watch him play, which is sad, but it's okay. And of course, before we all found out that he got his Tommy John surgery, a lot of you suggested that I email the angels and like the community page and stuff like that. Uh, I have. Um, I actually did that a while ago. I emailed every publicly available email I could find. Obviously, no replies. But some of you also emailed them on my behalf and shared my video on Twitter and tagged Otani, which is just so nice of you. So if anything, magical were to happen, it is 100% thanks to you. But yeah, I kind of got to like mentally cut our losses here because we're going to enjoy the trip no matter what. I think my dad is going to have such a great time. I have so many fun things planned for him. I got to say, it does suck though because... <laughs> Watching Otani play and potentially watching him hit a home run was like literally the catalyst to why I rushed to get these tickets. Um, uh, but yeah. <laughs> okay, that's all the updates regarding my previous video. We are now T minus one day from flying out, so I gotta keep packing. But here is what my day in Tokyo was like last week. Good morning, everyone. It has been quite a while since I have picked up this camera to vlog and I'm pretty excited about it. Today is a good opportunity to be vlogging because I'm gonna be heading into Tokyo to do a little bit of PR work with Lush and I'm also gonna have some ramen that I've been dreaming about and I think it's gonna be really tasty so I really wanna show you. Hopefully it's good. And I'm also gonna be meeting up with Rin Rin. I haven't seen her in so long. So yeah, it's gonna be a good day. So today I'm gonna be taking a bus into Shinjuku instead of a Shinkansen because it is significantly cheaper, although it takes like three times as long. Uh, but I did misjudge what time to get here. I came here way, way too early. So I think I'm going to grab a bread for breakfast from this like really cute little bakery down over there. This is the pan I got. It is like a spinach bacon corn roll or something like that. It looks delicious. 
also got my coffee, my protein drink, and I got a little omiyage for Rin Rin. It's really small. Alright, now we just have to wait for the bus. So since there's still a lot of time, let me address something that I get a lot of comments on and questions about whenever I post myself on Instagram lately. Uh, why am I still wearing a mask? What is it for? Um, so COVID is still kind of bad in Japan and I normally don't wear it outside. Today is actually kind of like a different reason why I'm wearing it. I'll explain that in a second. But I normally still wear a mask when I'm indoors or when I'm on public transportation, like a bus or a train, because my dad has lung cancer. And if he were to get COVID, it would be very, very, very bad. So myself, Mike, and pretty much everyone in my family that comes into contact with my dad is super duper careful about masks still. Plus, my grandma is 92 years old. She cannot get COVID. So yeah, that is why we are super careful about wearing masks. Uh, today, I'm wearing a mask even though I'm outside because I have this ridiculous pimple. Um, I haven't had a pimple in like a really, really long time, which kind of sounds like a brag. It's, it, ugh, okay, I guess like it's a brag. But anyway, I haven't had one in a long time, so I forgot how to deal with it. And I had this like hydrocolloid patch, which is what's on it right now. I had it on there for like two days, hoping that it would just like slowly go away. But I think it's like a cystic pimple, a cystic acne, because it's huge and it like hurts and it's really like tough. And then I popped it this morning, like an idiot, like who does that? And now there's like a crater on my face and it's like oozing and I have to hopefully fix it. I don't know how to fix it, but I have to like, mend it by the time I do my PR thing today. So, uh, yeah, <laughs> I don't, I don't know how. <laughs> uh. Our bus is a love life bus today. So two hours and 45 minutes later, I'm finally in Shinjuku. I forgot to mention, the other thing that kind of sucks about the bus is that if there's traffic, you're gonna be stuck in it. I mean, that's like kind of a given, obviously, which is why trains are way more expensive. But yeah, that, that happened today. Uh, the moment we entered Tokyo, there was like a crap load of traffic. We could not get out of, I think like the Ikejiri Ohashi area. Yeah, it was, it was shitty. So now I am heading towards this ramen place. I don't know if it's new, but it popped up on a couple of like my recommended things on Instagram. And it's an Afuri branch. So like Afuri ramen is really, really popular. And there's this like spicy version of it called Karakurenai. And it's in the Sabunado, Subnade, Subnod. I don't know what it's called in English, but there's like an underground like food shopping area uh, that's kind of attached to, to Shinjuku Station. Uh, but yeah, that is where we're headed now. It is still so freaking hot. I cannot be without this umbrella. Like, I feel like I'm gonna melt. It does feel a lot better to not have a mask on though. I did put my makeup on. I hope that my scary pimple is like well covered. I can't really tell. There's so much glare right now. Look at how fucking shady this looks. I've actually never been from this entrance before because I normally come around from a different way. Um, I don't know if it's all gonna lead to the same place though. It better, because this is like not cute. Okay, this is it. This is it, we're in the right place. Okay, let's go. Oh my God, here it is. Right at the end, there's no line. All right. Ah! I'm so excited. I saw that somebody got, okay, so there's, it says level eight, right? There's a 28 or something like that, which is like, oh, here it is, yeah. I saw some guy get this and he was like, not feeling so good. <laughs> um, I always go with like the restaurant or store recommended thing, which is this one at a spiciness level four. Mm, I, I kind of want it at a five but I also can't have my butthole explode during the PR event, so I guess I'll keep it at a four. Okay, next door, this guy right here, and spiciness. Mm -hmm. 
け Oh, you can pay with a credit card. Oh, that's it. Okay. Here we go. It looks delicious and smells amazing. It has yuzu in it, which is like this citrusy thing that's halfway between a lime. So that was delicious, although I will say that I kind of didn't expect the yuzu flavor to be so powerful. I know it said yuzu kosho, which is like yuzu and pepper, like Japanese pepper, like black pepper, uh, that's like really, really finely grained. Um, and it tastes exactly like that, but it's very, very strong. And that like refreshing citrusy flavor kind of counteracts the spiciness like it would be different if that level of spice was in like a tonkotsu broth that would be unbearably hot i think but this was pretty pretty freaking good again you have to be into this flavor to like really enjoy it i think i think maybe this kind of surprises people if they're not ready to taste the yuzu but yeah very much liked it i would say it is a 8.5 out of 10 uh, I wouldn't want this all the time. It's like a once in a while treat. Oh yeah, one thing I want to mention that I thought was so freaking cool, the noodles that they used are thin straight noodles and they looked exactly like Shimamoto noodles, as in Chef Keizo Shimamoto's noodles from Ramen Shack. Uh, if you remember, he and I did an episode of Goji Gang together. We actually did like, uh, no, yeah, we did one episode. It was like the big ramen finale episode. Uh, he served me and Sakura Ramen Shack's last bowl of ramen before they closed in New York. So yeah, it was really cool to be reminded of Shimamoto noodles and Ramen Shack and Chef Keizo. So now I'm just gonna kill some time until it's time to meet up with Rin Rin. I'm actually really glad my bus was so late because I didn't think I'd be done with everything so early. I still have an hour until I see Rin Rin. So yeah, I'm just gonna walk around and try to stop sweating. Uh, there is a Baskin Robbins right there. I might buy an ice cream just to cool down. <laughs> okay, so I ended up not doing that, but I do want to show you what their seasonal flavor is. It's Mario Bros, and it's so cute. Our regular flavors are all also delicious and pretty unique as well. If you come to Japan, you have to try our Baskin Robbins. Also, we don't call it Baskin Robbins, we call it 31. Sati so Wang. Let's quickly check out this little gotcha corner. There's so many. So this always happens if Rin Rin and I haven't seen each other in a while. We end up just talking and I forget that I was vlogging for the day, but here she is! now late to lush but there is no real late no. it's just arrive anytime after 6 30. it's okay we're fashionably late yeah so exactly oh barbie
it is so much later now. Oh my god. You can see it. You can see that. Oh, wow. I didn't think you'd be able to see it through the face mask, but um, all right, I did something really stupid when I came home. I didn't want Irie to think I abandoned her and I didn't want her to like hate me or something. Um, so I put one of her suction cup toys on my forehead and spun it around in hopes that it would entertain her. Not a good idea. Uh, this happened and she didn't even think it was funny. Anyway, like I just said, I was already asleep, so I have to be a little bit quiet, but um, I had like a second wind after my shower, so I thought I would unbox, unbag the Lush goodie bag that we received. They had one prepared for everybody that attended the PR event. It was so, so sweet. I had so much fun, by the way. I think I still have some like residual adrenaline from it, which is why I'm awake again. Cute! So this is the bath bomb I made. It's still in its mold and we have to keep it this way for I think like four days or something like that so that the shape takes. Um, so yeah, keep it in a nice dry cool place for the next four days and then I can open it up and show you. Uh, I believe it's the snow fairy one. And speaking of snow fairy, we received a little mini shower gel of snow fairy. It is so, so glittery. Ah! Ooh, what's this? Oh my god, cute! It's the reindeer bubble bar. <gasps> Ooh, it smells kind of almondy. And finally, we got Magical Santa. He's so cute and he has so many colors. Oh my God. This is such a big bath bomb. It is a bath bomb, right? Yeah, it's so big. Thank you so much, Lush. I had such a good time. Um, I have to be even quieter now because I think as I got excited, my voice went up and I heard Irie moving about in her crib. So yeah, I'm gonna call it a night. Oh yes, me.